everyone, it's Mio here, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute kitty macaroons in the spirit of the Christmas holidays. For this project in particular, I mostly use polymer clay to create these really cute characters, and to glaze it I actually use UV resin, but you can just use some regular glaze that you have at home. They're super cute and I love how they turned out. I actually think they would make really great ornaments if you have a tiny little tree and you can make bigger or smaller versions of these. So if you want to learn how to make these really cute kitty macaroon charms, just continue to watch this video. And of course for more videos like these, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and do let me know in the comments below what would you like to see for more in this holiday season. So to create the macaroon base, I'm going to start off with some pink clay. I'm going to roll this into a thin snake so that I can get two size balls that are about the even size. And I'm just going to squish these into tiny little pancakes. As you can tell here, these are a little bit too small for me and I end up using a larger circle to create my macaroon kitties. But you kind of get the general idea. I'm just using a clay tool here and I'm just making scratches at the very, very bottom base so it looks like a macaroon. And if you don't like it, you can just move the tiny pieces of clay around so that it looks more realistic to you. I spent a lot of time making the macaroon shells because I really wanted them to look realistic. And this is what my final product looked like. I went ahead and put these in the oven for about five minutes so that they're slightly hard. And then I took an unbaked white piece of clay place this in the center and squish them between the two macaroon shells to form the body of the kitty cat macaroon. So here is what my macaroon looks like so far. Now I'm going to take some smaller pieces of white clay, shape them into tiny little triangles, and place them on the top of where the kitty's head's supposed to be. With the back of a paintbrush, I'm going to form a little small dent in the ear so it has a more three-dimensional look and make sure you blend everything in very nicely. I also added two small little feet that are kind of crawling out of the macaroon shell so it looks like the kitty cat is squished in between the macaroon shells. All you need now is a face, so with my clay tool I actually put two little dots where I want the eyes to be and that will kind of be the reference of where I'm going to put the black pieces of clay that I used to form the kitty cat eyes. And then I put a small little mouth in the very center and I also put in some tiny little whiskers. I spent a lot of time making sure that these finer details look the way I want it because then your charm piece looks really nice. For the actual whipped cream on top, I'm using a real cake decorating tip and I'm putting some clay into the tip and using the back of a paintbrush to push the clay through the tip so that I can get a texture that looks really like whipped cream. So once you have it to be about one or two inches long, go ahead and remove it from your decorating tip, twist it a little bit, and then you can curl it into the shape of the whipped cream, um, just like I did on the top of my kitty cat macaroon. Now all you have to do is add on the finer accents to make it seem like it's in the holiday spirit. So I put on a tiny little mistletoe holly kind of thing at the corner. So I made the leaves by taking some green clay and using a blade, I put a line down the center and then I put little small marks along the edges so it looks like a leaf. And I made two of these. And just be careful if you're using a blade like me that you actually don't cut yourself or anything like that. And then once you have these, I added the three little berries into the corner. So all I did is took some red clay, rolled them into tiny little balls, and I have three of these, and I kind of squished them all together. You can position this little piece wherever you want on your little kitty cat character. If you want to add a Santa hat or a candy cane, whatever that seems very holiday festive to you, you can really add to your character. But this is what I did for this little character and I ended up adding a tiny little candy cane in one of her feet. Now to really make it look very, very cute, I decided to give it a little bit of blush on the cheeks using some chalk pastels. And I went ahead and baked this in the oven for about 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And to give it some extra shine, I went ahead and used some nail polish. I'm using UV nail polish to give it a really nice glaze glossy top. Just remember to put it in a UV curing lamp for about 30 to 60 seconds and your charm is pretty much done. Now if you want to actually create this into a charm, be sure you put an eyelet into the clay piece before you bake it and you have these really adorable Christmas charms ready to set you in the mood for the holidays. I really love how they turned out and I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. 
As you can see, these two charms are slightly different from each other. One of them is a sleeping kitty and the other one is awake and one of them has a Santa hat and the other one doesn't. It really is whatever you want. You can just make all sorts of variations of this really cute kitty cat macaroon base. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. For more like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. And do check out my other social media websites such as Instagram and Twitter to get previews of more videos. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!